This video is going to be the update on the plants that I put on polls a couple months back. First, we are going to start with the banger of all bangers. Now, you know me and my philodendron as Moraldens have been through a lot. I think I imported this. I may not have imported it. I don't even really know the history anymore because it's been that long that we've been together. I got this from Equigenera, either the one in the United States or the one in Ecuador. But when I got it, it was putting out leaves of this size. You know what I mean? Nothing spectacular, but I was impressed because I just really liked the plant. And I got the plant because it put me in the mind of the philodendron patriciae. But it wasn't the same price as the philodendron patriciae. That plant has gone down in price since then, so we could go get it. But back in the back of the back of the days, it used to be like a hundred and a hundred and more than a hundred dollars. <laughs> it used to be a couple of hundred dollars or more than a hundred dollars. Which once we get close to the one hundreds, that's just too much for me. Before we even get to the one hundreds, that's too much for me. Around fifty dollars is when you're tripping. Twenty dollars is where you need to be at. I'ma keep on saying that. But this is what the leaves were looking like. You know what I mean? It was cool. It was nice. You see, this one is ready to go. A lot of them have gone. But as you see. We got vacant spots, right? We're air layering now. Because after I chopped it, it put out Dumb and Dumber. Do you see Dumb and Dumber? What the fuck was that? <laughs> you know, I, didn't, I don't know what the fuck that was. But then from there, we went here. And I was like, oh shit. This is the biggest, fattest leaf that my philodendron Esmeraldans has ever put out. I ripped it. As you can see, that is the theme around here, okay? Because it then put out this leaf right here. Come on now. Come on now. I wasn't even expecting this so soon. You know, it put out this, and then it put out this quick. And now it's putting out this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So when I seen that it was growing fast, and it was growing these big-ass big leaves, these is big-ass big leaves. Let me get my head in the frame because my head is big. So come on now. Let me get right up to it. You feel me? It's a big ass leaf. <sighs> okay. As it was hardening off, I had accidentally ripped it because there was a lot going on. I had to move my plants a couple times. We were definitely under strenuous circumstances around here with having to move my plants back and forth, back and forth, around, around, in and out. So this one, I'm falling. <clears throat> so this one got ripped, all right? But I am very eager and very excited to see the next leaf. Ain't gonna be in next week if I keep wobbling the motherfucker all over the place. It's gonna snap at the goddamn roots. Hold on. There we go. Stand up. Okay, so I got it on this bendy pole. Right here. It has not attached to the pole. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It has not attached to the pole, but I'm so in love. Let me see that. Right, you see that? I can't, you know what? I am gonna compare it to the other leaf. I'm gonna, um... Let me get the scissors because I thought I was doing something with that. I was only leaving the bottom leaf on to show y'all a comparison because I threw the other ones away. Hold on, put the knife away. But look at the leaves that it started with compared to where we at now. Stop playing with science. Stop playing with earth. Stop playing with life, okay? This shit is fucking fire. I didn't know we was going to make it here so soon even though it's really not that soon. I had this plan for a minute. I haven't had it more than a year, though, so. After all the trials and tribulations, this is where we are. Act like that's not there. Let's put, put some green behind that. Come on now, that's nice. That's beautiful. And it's it's longer. It's more elongated than the other one. I'm sorry, I just, we have to marvel at it. We, ha we have to marvel at it. It's nothing I could do about this. This needs to be done. Look at that. Look at, look at that shit. I was impressed by this. I was impressed by this. This one, though, they blew me away. And look how big that is already. Stop playing with them. So I had to air layer it right up in here below these two leaves just because uh, they could stay. You know what I mean? They could stay. But when I chop it, it's going to be that top part right there. You see that? That's nice. You see now here we got this long-ass pole. And I don't want to have a long-ass pole of no leaves. So that's why we have the air layering going on. Saran wrap and we got some sphagnum moss in there. I'm gonna put it back, but compared to what it started out as versus where we are now, we're not attached to the pole, but we're still growing exponentially, okay? This is very substantial growth right here with or without aerial roots going into a pole. Let the church say, amen. This is my mandula pathos. It was attaching to the pole down here at the bottom 
which that was very exciting. You know what I mean? But since then, you see what's going on. It's bobbling all over the place. I don't really water the pole. I don't keep up with it. But this is what the mandula is given. Nothing spectacular. Absolutely nothing spectacular. I don't even think I want this up on the pole. I feel like I want to um propagate it. Should we do that now? Or should I just leave it alone? No, I'm not doing no work in this video. I'm just showing y'all what's going on. But this is what it looks like now versus where it came from which I didn't pull up the footages, so I don't really know. So let me let me do my acting. If it's grown substantially, oh wow, the crazy growth. If it hasn't grown at all, this shit, look at this slow ass growing ass plant. Ain't that something? Mandula pothos. The time has come for me to have to pull the video up because I don't remember. Should have been did that though. Oh, the philodendron gigas, 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 gigas. Let me tell you something. <laughs> put it up on the pole as you can see it's not up on the pole no more it was throwing out little fucking turds like that it just got its life together we're just now getting back to putting out a decent sized leaf you know what i mean it's just taking a while but as you can see it's not up on no pole i had to give up because the plant was low-key dying so it's been repotted like two or three times since that video it was going somewhere but it got, it got, it just got weird all of a sudden. And the pole was ugly. So we definitely had to get that up out of here. The next plant is the Monstera Silta Pecana. Now my Monstera Silta Pecana has grown. It has grown. It's as far as the pole situation, like you see what's going on. This is a fucking mess. It then grew up the pole already. We lost some of the bottom leaves, a lot of the bottom leaves. We have like one leaf left down here. <sighs> That's the leaves. They're really nice. Um, I don't want this in a bunch. Like I don't want it as like a bouquet or like trailing down. I want it to climb up. So I will be putting this on a different pole because I just want to see what it's going to turn into. If it's going to turn into anything. And I was trying to get it to look like the Monstera Sosa Bacana El Salvador. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to just have to buy the Monstera Sosa Bacana El Salvador. You feel me? But the leaves are definitely nice. Let's get back on them. I'm dropping my rocks. I like this plant. It look a little diseased. It look a little like dinosaur-y, you know, prehistoric. So, I like it. And I've had this for a long time long time i had this since we was on the coochie capital so but for me to have had this since we was on the coochie capital and this is as far as we've gotten that's fucking sad eplantmerch.com this is the newest of the news okay let's see what i got all right so hot off the presses we have the new newest addition to the plantmerch.com this is the boys in the hood plants in the hood remake <laughs> It was inspired by the Boys in the Hood movie poster. You know how it had the three main characters at the top. It said, Once Upon a Time in the Hood. On theirs, it said, It Ain't No Fairy Tale, <laughs> which is so corny, but okay. I just went with It Ain't No Game because I can't be copying verbatim. We have the three main characters being the Anthurium Vici, Alocasia Heterophyla, and the Philodendron Fibrosum. Yep, so this is it. It's so cute. I'm going to put it on. I tried to keep with the same colors and everything. And then on the side, we just have the plants in the hood text right there. This is really, really nice. This is really nice. Let me put it on. Singonium Reggae guy has moved to a different pole. I had the pole bent down because I wanted this to be on the shelf. You know? Um, boom. It's really given. It's really giving me something I could feel. It was acting a little crazy, um, throwing out these um, runners with no leaves on them. I have been chopping off the runners as I see them running, and that's how we got to this point right here, where we have just a, a nice little bunch, a nice little bunch coming to the front where I need them to come. You feel me? This is very nice. I love this plan. And compared to when I first got it, we're doing big things. We have good sized leaves all up and through. There have been some tiny leaves. I have cut them off. If you're not going to put out substantial growth, 
I'm going to chop you. That's where we at with it now. Let's get up on it one more time. That's that velvet. Dark green velvet. <sighs> That's beautiful. We got a new leaf coming right there, though. I'm waiting for it to size up, but in all actuality, I don't like when it loses the... It loses something. I think it loses the white line down the middle, and then the shape starts to change. I like it like this. I would like a full, you know, um, pole of this. This is really nice. I like this. Monster, not monstera. Why are you calling it monstera? Syngonium radii. My monstera, um, stand Eliana, albo variegated. I gotta tell you something. I chopped it up because I wanted to, instead of having it climbing up a pole, I wanted to have like a full pot of it. I chopped it up. I put some pieces in my prop ensemble. They rotted. And um, I have some, some pieces left, so let's get to them. Okay. These are the little cuttings right here. I put a little piece of pothos in there so that it could help them, you know, encourage them to grow. This is a mess. So I lost a lot of pieces in the prop ensemble but these are my water pieces do we have roots we do or is this from the pothos that's from the damn pothos okay we got a couple of little roots this piece rooted this one is trying to root but let me tell you something i've never had a plant take so long to root and i had heard people say that the monstera sandiliana elbow variegated takes a long time to root but i was like let me see so I did my experiment putting some in the prop ensemble and putting some in water. The ones in water, they're surviving. The prop ensemble rotted. It took a long time for these roots to come out. I did this weeks ago. Usually when I propagate my plants in water, I start to see roots in a couple of days. This one, it has taken a couple of weeks. But this is it as far as my Monstera Stendeliana album variegated. <laughs> I thought that the Philodendron Esmeraldans was the star of the show, and it is. But this, um... A medium silver. Hold on. I just want y'all to see how much it has grown. So those are the original leaves. Then it put out this one. Then it, you know what it's doing it looks like? It's putting out fingers. Then it's putting out these. Then it put out more fingers. Then it put out another one of these. And then it put out more fingers. So you think this is going to be one of these? That's cute. Whatever's going on, that's cute. My thing with this is that... Just having one long strand of it. You know what I mean? I, but you know what? You know what else? I need to calm down too because I need to let it grow to its fullest potential. All right? That's, that's what I'm telling myself. I need to let it grow to its fullest potential. As far as going into the pole, uh, this particular pole, it's not going into the pole. It has these big ass, thick ass root nips all along. But it's not like wrapping around or doing anything like that. So I don't mind. As long as it's growing, we're good. But yeah, this started off with the two bottom leaves and we have made it this far. That's beautiful. And it's putting out a new leaf. So this is what I need for my plants. I need them to come in here and act right. This plant was in dirt and I had moved it to the semi-hydro soilless uh, situation. And it took off. It took off. It's beautiful. So it's not medium silver. Sometimes I feel like I don't like it. I like it standing alone, you know, as its own plant. But when I put it next to my other plants, I don't really like it because I don't think it matches. Or go, you know what I mean? I can't explain it, but this is it. <laughs> Philodendron fuzzy petty you, dead and gone. Dead and gone. Don't even worry about it. Started acting stupid. Who, if you have a Philodendron fuzzy petty you that you've had for a while, not one that you just got, but that you've had for a while. Let us know down in the comments because everybody that I know, they're full of gender fuzzy petty you. Shit it on them. My refitter forward the cursive ain't doing a damn thing. Since that video, it may have put out one or two leaves. This one and this one. And that's it. That is it. What's the point? What's going on? Oh, so it attached to the pole though. I can't say that. Down here. Y'all can't see it, but it's attached to the pole right there. So that's cute or whatever, but climb the bitch. Climb it. 
That's what I feel. That's the refrigerator for with the curse of her. Long ass pole for nothing. Like, come on, son. Why are you still down there? But it did attach to the pole, so he does get a couple of brownie points for that. But, like, still. Come on. Aw, oh, damn. My fillet's engine is one the eye. I got some explaining to do. When I show it to you, you might can see it already. But when I show it to you, don't be startled. Don't be scared. I had to cut my philodendron splendii up. Why? I don't remember why. I think it was just a choice. I was cleaning up and I was reorganizing my plants. You know what it was? You know why I cut it up? Because all the leaves are ugly. And these were these are all the leaves. They were ugly. So I was like, you know what? I need to chop them at the nose and I need to take it from the top with all of these pieces. And I also want a fuller philodendron splendii. This is my pride and joy. And this is what it's looking like. It's hard for me to accept that. But we're here. One of the cuttings just put out this little, <laughs> that looked like a damn pothos leaf. You feel me? It's like, come on, what's going on? What's going on? But I am happy to announce that it has rooted up in there. But we got roots, you know, so I'm going to be potting this up soon. But here's the thing, though. I want to get another philodendron one day <laughs> and just pop this up with a new one and just have like a, a just a bunch of philodendron one day. You know what I mean? That's why I haven't potted it up yet because I'm waiting to see if I'm going to buy a new one and just put them all together. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily on a plant ban right now, but I know damn well I shouldn't be buying no plants. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you got to reel it in and calm the fuck down. So... I don't think I should be buying no plants, but that's it. Get up on it. Oh my God. You know, I had bleached it. I ended up cutting the tips off because it was browning and looking crazy. It had to be done. But you know I love this plant. You know I love this plant. You love it too. You telling me right now you looking at this leaf and you don't like that? You lying. Well, just don't look at the bottom part. You know what I mean? But like right there, that's nice. Look at my fillers on this one day, our better days. Better fucking days. Commercial. Like, comment, and subscribe. I don't even keep this plant with my plants, but I had chopped it up to water propagate it. This is the red Congo right here. It had all the fungus spots and stuff on it, the copper fungus. You see that? Yeah, so I don't really keep it next to my plants because it can spread, allegedly. I have been planning on throwing this away. Look, I don't even take care of it. It's in the water. The roots are up here, not even in water. And it's still alive. Y'all, a piece of the red Congo is down here floating with roots on it. I should have put it in a prop box. I don't know why in the world I put it in here. All right, so that's it for the updates on all of those plants. What have we learned from this experience? Number one, shit happens, okay? You might start at the top and end up at the bottom in the blink of an eye, okay? As shown by my Asplundi eye. And um, who else was a mess? The Red Congo, Black Cardinal, all of that. Yeah, you, shit happens. Number two, plants don't have to attach to the pole in order to put out bigger leaves. Just as long as they have the support to stand up, they will put out those bigger leaves as shown by the philodendron Esmeraldas. That's it. That's all I got. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. She's very disrespectful. They're disrespectful. They know I'm trying to hit the outro on them. Me, you please.